Thank you for tuning in to Mommy's Designs and DIYs. Today I'm gonna to teach you how I print a, a um, water bottle with sublimation. Um, here is my um, my image, what I wanna put. This is the, the um, water bottle that I'm gonna use. And this comes with these pieces. So make sure that you remove them because they're plastic and they can melt. They remove those. And then we're gonna use a, a piece of butcher paper and this uh, uh, a piece of Teflon, um, heat, uh, the ones that you use to do the t-shirts, a uh, one piece. I bought a full sheet and I made a whole bunch of them with it. So I got this at Amazon. The butcher paper, I also got it on Amazon, but I'm gonna put a, a link below. And we need a heat uh, tape. Um, and let me get settled and let's get to it. Okay, I'm back. Make sure that either don't touch your uh, water bottle too much or clean it with this uh, smooth rag and, uh, and some little uh, water or alcohol. So then basically we're just gonna put our image. Okay, and we're gonna tape it. And then I'm gonna put the tape. The, um, the tape that I'm gonna put here is gonna go in the back, and I and I explain to you why. So here's our image. Here we go. So everything is like facing down. The image has to be on top. I think I put it wrong right here. Okay. So you're gonna make sure that you tape it really nice. And the image is, it's here, up here. So you're gonna so put this in the oven with this facing up and the tape facing down because we want all the heat to go over, okay? I'll be back in a minute. Let okay, me... this is the oven we're gonna be using. You're gonna set it up at 400. Here it is, 400. And then you're gonna set it up at turbo right here because we need the, the fan going. And then you're gonna set up your timer, like I'm gonna do 170, so I'm set, continue putting my timer at 60, and this is the name brand of it. I think I paid 49 or 59 at Walmart uh, for this one, okay? So you're gonna put it, wet the tape down, because we want all the heat. And because it only has one image on top, on, on, the, on top, then you put it like this and it won't be a problem. So we want to put it in there just like that for three minutes at 400 for three minutes. See you in a minute. Okay, so it's been three minutes and I just got it out. It's really, really hot. You can either let it cool down. Usually because I'm doing other ones, I let it cool down, but I just wanted to show you. And I'm using these rags. You need to have those special gloves for a heat, but I'm using this because everything is at my store and uh, my store is closed right now. And so I'm just doing whatever I can with what I have right now. But make sure that you protect yourself really well and um, make sure you don't burn yourself. So basically, um, by the way, usually they say that, uh, that the paper can only be used once. I check my paper and as long as it doesn't have the image like the ghosting on the, on the paper, I use it like, I can use it up to 10, 10 uh, uh, mugs or um, or uh, glasses or whatever. So I see like this one, I'm gonna use it again because it hasn't, the image hasn't transferred over to the, to the paper. Uh, okay, so here it is, nice and crispy. No problem. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. Have a blessed day. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Other than that, I'm gonna put in the description below, I'm gonna put all the items that you need. I use Sagras uh, SG400. That's what I use for my sublimation. May the Lord bless you and have a lovely day. Thank you.